I don't know what being satisfied is. I always eat until I'm full. That's the only way that I know. Do any of you ever feel like that? You really don't know what it feels like to be satisfied. Well, that's me. I <laughs> grew up that way. Uh, my red line was full. That's how I knew. But there are some new approaches that you can take. And I'm going to give you some approaches that will really help you to be able to pay attention to um, how you're really feeling. Um, if you really put your mind to it, you can change it. And it's not really that hard if you're really determined to do it. OK, so let's go ahead and move into it. My name is Ed Logan. I want to welcome you to From Process to Pure Food Movement channel. This is where you are to get some great information about uh, food addiction, however you want to call it. If you're an overeater, this is the issue that we have if you're anything like me. So let's get started. All right. Number one, pay attention to what your body is telling you. OK, we have to we have to make a conscious effort to listen to what our body is really saying. So when we're eating, we get to two places. OK, we get to the place that either we're content, meaning we're satisfied. And many of us don't know what that is. I didn't know what that was. Didn't know it was a such thing as being satisfied. Satisfied to me was being full. OK, and then there is being full. So being content, if we're going to give it a percentage level, being content is around you're about 80 percent full. OK, if you're if you've overeaten, you're at about 120 percent, like you've taken the capacity and you've expanded it. That's where the displeasure, the pain comes from. You know, we're getting the pleasure while we're eating and then it turns into displeasure. We have to go lay down or have to go sit on the sofa and sit back for a minute. So. Point number one, you have to listen to what your body is saying. Pay attention to it. Um, you'll know when you've had enough because that's what satisfied really is, is being enough. But it's not full. OK, and then overeating. Once again, it is full. All right. So that was number one. Uh, let me give you the, another section to uh, concentrate on being satisfied. So that means that we have to take a conscious effort on how we're feeling. We have to stop. Sometimes, you know, you can even just close your eyes and take assessment of where you are when it really comes to your food and how you're feeling. Some of the things that I do and I've learned to do is, number one, I was a person who ate quickly. I mean, I inhaled my food. There was no you know, just gradually eat. No, I inhaled it. And that's exactly what I was used to. And, you know, sometimes I still have to work on that. I still have to watch how fast I'm actually eating my food because there's a reason. I'm going to tell you what that reason is here in a minute. There's a reason why you want to take your time uh, when you eat. OK, find the sweet spot. OK, that again, that means really just listening. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not hungry, but I'm not full. I mean, I'll say, OK, so can I actually be OK with where I'm at? Yeah, I could be OK with where I'm at. Or do I need a little bit more to get to that place? Uh, I may be able to eat a couple of more spoons and then I, I'll, I'll know I should call it quits. Those are the conversations that you have with yourself while you are eating. OK, uh, feeling content is not full. Let me say that again. Feeling content is not full. OK, so again, we want to be at about 80 percent capacity. Um, and then that way you don't feel that displeasure that comes from overeating. So 80 percent, remember, is being content. 120 percent is actually overeaten full, you know, that's really about where we get to because that's where the pain actually starts. And maybe even at 110%, I'm not exactly for sure on the percentage, but um, I do know that 80%, if you look at a lot of people who are centurions, they'll tell you, do not eat all of your food. You know, only eat about 80% of your food, 80% um, capacity. So, you know, those are people to really listen to. They, they live to be 100 years old. So I think they've got some good information. All right. Point number two. 
Stay away from foods that cause you to lose control. Stay away from food that causes you to lose control. The foods that normally causes us to lose control is ultra processed foods. It has been engineered for you to eat more of it and to want more of it. And before you know it, you're at that overeating stage. You have ever noticed, I don't know if you all have done this before, but I've had like, uh, I remember uh, in my younger years, this specifically, I had a big bag of cheese puffs and I was sitting and watching a movie and I ate the whole bag of cheese puffs. And then I would justify it in my mind and say, well, they're full of air. It's not really that big of a deal. I mean, it's a whole bag, but I mean, it's full of air. Well, they are so calorie dense that it's made for you to consume it, get the crunch from it, the salty cheesiness. Hey, I'm sorry if I'm triggering um, somebody's food. Um, I don't mean to do that. But on this channel, we learned that this kind of food is our enemy. So I'm going to talk about it. I'm not going to stay away from it. We need to learn how to deal with our enemy. So when we would have those cheese puffs, we bite it, chew it, get the saltiness, the cheese, and then it melts in our mouth. And when it melts in our mouth, it's almost like a liquid going down. See, they, they started out as a solid and then they change and alter into a liquid going down. And that's why we find ourselves eating a whole bag of them. All right. So ultra processed food and also other products that are in that realm. I'm a probably about to offend some people who are vegans, but a lot of processed vegan foods is the exact same way. It's, it's the exact same way. It's still the salt. It's still the sugar, just a different type of fat, but it still affects us the same way. You know, I, I could be a vegan junkie. I could eat I could eat vegan junk food, basically, and I would justify it in my mind, say, well, at least it's vegan, but it's still got the same sugar. Still got the same salt. Just a different type of fat, not animal fat, but it may have fat from something else. So it was just swapping out the fat. And for me, you know, it's it was in the realm of ultra processed food. They still had to process it. It's still ultra processed. Even if you buy it and it's vegan, it has been processed in a, in a way. So when you buy the vegan hot dogs, it's ultra processed. It's been altered completely. So just because it says vegan, that doesn't make it any better than ultra processed food. It just doesn't have any animal products in it. OK, so if you didn't know that, I hope that's good information for you. If you did know that. I hope that we make some changes to what we are doing and how we were eating. Um, and if it offended you, it's just the truth. And I can't I can't apologize for the truth. That's how it is. OK, so that was number two. Number three. Eat whole foods that will help you tremendously. I'm going to tell you why. Help you tremendously in knowing when you are satisfied. All right. So. It's you're less likely to binge on whole food like you're less likely to binge on apples. You're less likely to binge on green beans and things that are natural for us to eat because it's not made for it to do that. It's made to provide nutrients and those nutrients are very important for us. You're going to see here in a second. I'm going to tell you why. OK, um, it does not affect the body the same way that ultra processed food does. Whole foods was built. It was made for us to consume, to provide nutrition to us on every aspect of our body. That's why how it was made. On the other hand, ultra processed food is made for, let's be honest, bottom line profit. It's made for you to buy it and it's made for you to come back and buy it again. That's what ultra processed food does to us. It makes us come back again and want it again. Like I've said many times, like, do you ever find yourself um, having a big crave for strawberries? I mean, I like strawberries. Strawberries are great. And when I think about strawberries, I can say, hey, I want some of those. But think about what a real craving is when it comes to ultra processed food. It's like it stays on our mind. 
we're not satisfied until we get it. That's what the crave um, actually does. Okay, another thing, the reason why we want to eat whole foods, um, because ultra processed foods has chemicals in it. And those chemicals actually affect our bodies. It actually tricks our body. I'm going to give you one example. Things that are sugar free. Things that are sugar free to the tongue still taste what? It tastes sweet. Okay. So when you eat something that is sweet, naturally sweet, your body starts releasing chemicals to get to get ready to consume and break down that sweet stuff. Okay. But what happens is when we eat stuff like um, I'm just I'm not going to say the names of them. When we eat the sugars that are not sugar, it's more chemical based types of things. Um, when we consume those. It's tricking our body. So our tongue is thinking, ah, got some sugar. So the body starts releasing the chemicals to start breaking down that sugar, but it never receives it. So then our body is thrown into a dilemma because it's thinking that it's getting sugar and it's not getting sugar. It's getting a chemical. So therefore, you can't it's hard to reach that area of where you're feeling content about what you've consumed. You'll just keep consuming it. That's why people like diet uh, colas so much. You know, they think that they can drink a lot of it and the whole time your body is getting addicted to those chemicals that is in the diet. And then you find yourself wanting to drink the diet more than the regular sugar. So you have to be very careful when we are dealing with chemical compounds, when we're dealing with things that have been put into our food, because our body begins to prepare itself for the food that we are bringing in. But when we're lied to, when the stomach has been lied to, thinking that it's going to get sugar and it doesn't, it causes a reaction in our system. Okay. Whole foods, on the other hand, does not have chemicals in it other than what it's chemically made of. How's that? But it does not have any added chemicals. You know, you can pesticides and stuff. You can spray that stuff off. But I'm talking about what the food is actually made of. Um, it does not have any chemicals. It does not have any additives. It does not have any uh, any colorings and it does not have any flavorings. All of those things affect our system when we are eating. That's why it's so easy for us to indulge in those things because they were made and created for us to be able to do that. OK, ultra um, processed foods, on the other hand, lacks the nutrition. It, it doesn't allow our body to be able to tell it that we're full. OK, that sounds kind of strange, but that's actually how it happens. Whole foods, on the other hand, provides everything that we need nutritionally. So let me explain a little bit to you um, about this. Um, my main point is this. When we eat whole foods, we are less likely to overeat. When we eat whole foods, we are less likely to overeat. And I'm going to give you the reason to this. When we eat ultra processed foods, we are more likely to overeat. Again, it's designed for us to overeat. All right. So your body has some hormones that it produces. OK. So your, your body produces a hormone called ghrelin. OK, you can go and look this up. Ghrelin. Ghrelin is what is used to let us know when we're when we're getting hungry. It le that's the hunger feeling that we get is the release of the hormone ghrelin into our system. And once you start to understand this, you'll know when you start getting hungry. OK, my body's releasing ghrelin. That means that it is hungry. It's time for me to put some nutrition into my body. OK, but there's another hormone that is released that is called leptin. Leptin happens when you are satiated or when you are satisfied. It says, OK, we're satisfied. The problem when I find myself eating ultra processed food, when I used to eat ultra processed food like that, it didn't tell my body when to shut off, to stop. The only reason, only way I knew it was my stomach would begin to grow and I would be getting full. That, that's the only reason. But there was not a chemical process, the hormones necessarily being released to say, OK, you're satisfied. See, when you understand the releasing that hormone, 
it's easier for your mind to go with it. It's easy for you to say, okay, I feel it. I'm done. But when you don't know what that leptin is feeling like, when that leptin isn't working, that hormone's not being released because you're eating ultra processed food that really is not food. It's a chemical compound, industrial compound. So you're not able to hear that ghrelin and that ghrelin is not e able to come out so that you know that you're getting satisfied. OK, so what are we learning here? If you eat whole food, nutritious food for us, guess what? Your body lets you know when it's done, when you've had enough of it. When you eat ultra processed food, your body doesn't. So be sure to remember ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin, hunger, leptin, satisfied. Begin to take note of that and understand the, the releases of those hormones in your body when it is taking place. And once you are able to do that and you're eating whole foods, your mind is automatically going to calm you down to where you pay attention to it. OK, hey, I hope this was good information for you. I hope that you got something from it. I hope the content was worthy to be listened to. But listen, this is really inf information that will really help change your life. It'll help push you towards your transformation when you can start to listen to your body. All right. Hey, I will see you all on the next one. Um, if you would, please subscribe. If you have friends that may be in the same position that you were in or that I was in. Hey, please share this with them. And uh, I really hope it's beneficial. All right. You all take care. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the video. All right. Bye bye.